quick compare and contrast of the jetting and the way these different bathtubs are laid out with their therapeutic jets. I really want you to see the thought that has gone into designing and laying out these different systems. So this particular bathtub has a bunch of water jets in the back. Uh, the, air, the water jets are actually recessed so that you can lay across these jets without any interference. It's super comfortable. There's quite a bit of effort that goes in to recessing these water jets, but that's the kind of attention that we've given to the product to make sure that the end user has an amazing spa-like therapeutic experience in the bathtub. Uh, the second thing are the hip jets. Uh, our bathtub has strategically positioned really nice and low hip jets, so they're hitting you on the hip and all the way down the leg on both sides, right where you're sore, right where you've had hip replacements, knee surgeries, arthritis, you name it. These jets are positioned, so they're really going to offer you a treatment so that you see improvement in your life because you've had this bathtub installed. Down low, what's neat about our bathtubs is it does give you the option of having two independent water pumps. So you'll see that there's two intakes. And the way our independent pumps work, one is going to give you a foot massage. You could fill up the bathtub to just above these jets, hit pump number one, and now you're circulating water and massaging just your feet and behind your legs. Pump number two, you fill the bathtub up all the way, and now, of course, you're getting a full massage, a full body massage. The second system we want to talk about is the air jets. Uh, the air jets are really what's going to move that water around and get you feeling fresh, clean, getting all of the places that are just a little bit harder to reach as you lose mobility and your joints get stiff. So strategically placed around the base or right around your waist. Also, three bidet jets. Down on the base of the tub, you're gonna find all the jets around your feet, which are gonna take care of your feet, your legs, and your lower body. One thing that I really like to point out is the construction of these jets. So all of our air jets, where you're gonna be walking on them, where they get the most wear and tear, they're all made out of brass. So there are no plastic air jets on our bathtubs. It just doesn't even make sense to have plastic air jets you're sitting on them. These are the ones that are really getting used and abused because your body is, at, is sitting there, you're standing on them. You want a robust, well-constructed air jet, and we'll show you what some of our competitors are using uh, for materials in their jet construction. Also, we have a couple different options on controls. You have digital options, um, which you'll see right here. We have push button or plunger options, fully customizable. So any of our bathtubs can come with any of these different uh, options to actually for the controls of your jets as we continue to kind of tour around the deck of the bathtub you're going to see even some more controls so these are going to control the intensity of your different jets so these will be the upper jets and the front you're going to have controls for your lower jets one really important thing about every single bathtub we put out with the massage system is that it has an auto purge cycle so when you're done taking a bath in our tub the bathtub is gonna turn itself back on automatically. And it's gonna do this every single time you use it. It's blowing air through the lines to dry them out to make sure that when you get in the bathtub the next time and turn those jets on, that there is no buildup in the lines, that they're completely dry and sanitary the next time you use them. So the bathtub is taking care of itself and self-maintaining uh, itself after every single use. Ella's bathtubs, We've got the steel air jets, we've got lots of jets, we've got strategically placed hip jets, we've got independently operating foot and upper body jets. If we get into tub one, we'll kind of take a quick peek at what they have going on. So one nice thing that they did do on tub number one is they did use brass air jets on the floor. There's just not many of them. They just have a few. There's four total air jets. The air jets that do run around the base of the bathtub, again, they're very small. The water jets, there are no actual hip jets. What they may call a hip jet is all the way, way above your knee. No idea why that jet's even there. It's definitely not gonna hit anybody's uh, uh, knees, hips, legs. It's going right above your legs. The water jets on the back, they're okay. I do like having the center back water jets 
I know for me, when I have back soreness, it's always right down the middle, right down the lower back. So they did an okay job. Uh, these jets do not articulate, though. There's no directional. So they're coming straight out, and hopefully they hit the right spot. If we go over to tub number two, this would be your hardware store bathtub. We've got our air jets, but one, they're made out of plastic. So you're gonna be stepping on these jets, walking around these jets, leaning on these jets. There is a very good chance these jets are gonna shear off. You're gonna have a leak and you're gonna need service on this bathtub. Don't buy a bathtub from a hardware store because who are you gonna call to service your bathtub? You buy a bathtub through us and you were to run into any sort of an issue, uh, you have one number to call, 1-88-494-BATH, and boom, you've got service on your tub if it's ever needed. If we go to tub number three, this bathtub, there's just not much going on in this bathtub, kind of boring. This is kind of a boring therapeutic experience. You do have some, some back jets, um, they do articulate. That part's nice, nothing down the middle. Uh, you do have a bidet jet. Nothing around your back, nothing down the middle, really no hip jets. This is very boring, and this is one of our big national competitors, big brand. We hear a lot about these bathtubs. You really need to know what you're getting before you purchase a bathtub like this. Back of the leg jets, they do articulate. They're nice size. You're going to get a lot of water flow through those as well as the foot jets. Uh, the one issue I have with the foot jets is I'm not really sure how exactly you would get your foot on those foot jets. You would get a nice toe, ball of the foot massage on those jets. I'm not a huge fan of the overall jet placement. One feature that makes our bathtubs very unique, again, it's our attention to detail and our thought that goes into how this product's going to be used by the actual end user are our foot jets. A lot of our competitors will offer a couple of jets mounted uh, on the vertical wall. Really difficult to get your feet on those jets and get a good thorough massage. Uh, we actually have a beveled angled edge at the base of the bathtub here. So we have one jet at an angle to get the heel of your foot, another jet above to get the ball of your foot. And you can even see how these jets are both at an angle. They're skewed so that it's as comfortable as possible for the end user.